Hey, welcome back to Cooking For Now. This is gonna be another randomly thrown together video because it's so spur of the moment. I was planning on getting some dinner through Seamless or Grubhub. They're not working for some reason. They won't let me use PayPal rather than go out and get dinner, which is what I probably should do. Uh, I'm gonna use it as an excuse to make a cooking video and we're gonna play a little game called What's In My Kitchen. Whatever's in there, we're gonna make dinner and you're gonna come with me. And so, upon initial investigation, it was discovered that there were numerous expired and questionable items in the refrigerator. However, there were a buttload of condiments, herbs, and spices, so I was certain things would work out for the best. My exploration yielded a handful of good ingredients, including potatoes that had begun to sprout strange creatures, <laughs> bumblebee tuna, a tub of olive salad, flour, eggs, milk, and panko breadcrumbs. With these ingredients combined, I will make potato and tuna croquettes. So first make your tuna filling. In a bowl, add your tuna and olive salad. I got this from a place called The Oilery in Hilton Head, South Carolina. It's a mixture of cured olives and vegetables, and it goes great with cream cheese, salad, fish, chicken, meatloaf, etc., etc. Now add some spicy brown, some salt, pepper, Mix everything together and set aside. Next, remove the alien growth, scrub and cube your potatoes. Place them in a pot and add sprinkles. I'm going with a half teaspoon of black peppercorns, two teaspoons dried parsley, oh my glob, I found some garlic, Hulk smash, add it to the pot, and a bay leaf. Ingredients complete. Pour in about two cups of water or until the potatoes are fully covered. Season with salt, the water should taste like garlicky tears. Flame on to medium high and cook until the potatoes are mashable. P.S. This is really hard to cook and film with a phone. Which is why I'm straining this and removing the peppercorns and bay leaf off camera. Add a tablespoon of butter and with more off camera magic, mash it up and separate into even portions. Now we're gonna stuff these, bread them, and fry them up. I just discovered I don't have any frying oil. I'm gonna put it in the oven! Okay, so preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Add some Lowry's to your flour and mix well. Add a tablespoon of milk to your egg and whisk, whisk, whisk! Mmm, yes. And now, since we're baking, mix a little oil into your breadcrumbs, enough so everything is very lightly coated. Back to the tuna! I found feta cheese and mixed it in! And now for your entertainment, I will attempt to stuff these one-handed while filming. Tell freaking duh. Now it's time for the breading, which I will do off screen. Basically, you have to take the stuffed potato balls, dredge it in flour, shake off the excess, roll it around in the egg, then cover with panko. And look how cute they are! These will bake at 400 degrees until golden brown. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Um, in case anyone's wondering, which you're probably not, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Um, I'm getting ready to watch when supernatural battles became commonplace. Ino batulwa nichijo ke no nakete. Because I pronounced that perfectly. <laughs> it's uh, an anime about, I don't know, probably high school kids. Because <laughs> they're all about high school kids. Anyway. Yeah. This is what they look like after 10 minutes. Normally you'd flip these and let them cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm starving and ain't nobody got time for that. So into the toaster oven it goes. A few minutes later, they're done. I actually almost burned these. See what had happened was I got distracted with anime. They're really hot too, so I'm letting them cool for a few minutes on a wire rack. Okay, yes, it's dinner time, finally. Let's give it a try. Seem crunchy on the outside. You can see potato, tuna. Looks so good. So I'm gonna try it. Mm. 
So I think it's really good um, to the point where it doesn't need any sauce. But I love sauce. sauce. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. I'm using Halal Guys white sauce. It's so flipping good. It's like ranch dressing on crack. So check it. These guys serve Halal style chicken, beef, and falafel in a wrap or over a bed of lettuce with orange crack rice, all slathered with hot sauce and this crack white crack sauce that's on crack. It's pretty dang good. The original location is this little food cart on the corner of 53rd and 6th Avenue in Manhattan. So if you're visiting the NYC, you should totally try it. Well, it only took about two hours to make and film, but I feel so shiny now that I've eaten. Ugh. And now I'm back where I should be, watching anime. <laughs> I actually had a lot of fun sort of searching my kitchen for random ingredients and making this last minute meal. I highly recommend the croquet idea because you can stuff the potatoes with anything and fry it or oven bake it, which is probably a healthier way to go about it. And it won't take you two hours like it took me because I was filming and trying to get everything to look <laughs> Decent. 15 minutes for the potatoes, 20 minutes in the oven, or if you use a toaster oven, it took like five minutes and it was done. <laughs> so, <gasps> yay! 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 So, thank you for joining me on this really random food adventure. Um, I had a lot of fun and it was totally tasty, surprisingly. Uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go watch my show until I crash and I will see you next time. Good night. Bye.